Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, we're gonna take you through our top five favorite cat toys. They're both inexpensive and they're guaranteed to even get the most laziest of Garfield cats moving. But today I'm excited because this is firstly our first YouTube video we've ever created. And secondly, I get to talk about one of our favorite topics. Over the last 13 years, my wife and I have been scouring the market to try to find new and exciting cat toys. Think about cat toys in two different categories. You've got the active toys, so the toys that where you need to actively spend time playing with your cats, and then you have more of the passive toys. So these are toys that you can kind of give them and they'll keep them busy all by themselves. So for these next five, what we've done, we've got three that are fall into, into the uh, passive category and then two that fall active category. So without further ado, let's just jump in. So here are the top five. The first three are the ones your cats can enjoy alone and then the last two are the ones that you're, you're gonna have to be actively involved. All right guys, so the first cat toy on our list is the classic plastic spring. We managed to get a hundred of these for a tenner on Amazon, so they're a great deal. The only problem with these is you will find them scattered around the house and in all sorts of places. We find our boys love to kind of like hit these and they love to kind of skip them across the floor and they can end up in all sorts of weird and wonderful places. But because of how unexpectedly they can bounce, you tend to find the cats kind of get a chance to like really do that hunting skill and that, that quick reflex movement. So this for us, given the price, is probably the one that really keeps them the most entertained. Our second toy is resembles a Chinese finger trap. Again, it's very similar to the plastic springs. Again, it's made of like this kind of plasticky, fibery, type product. We managed to get 30 on Amazon for, for just eight pounds. And again, just like the spring, they bounce very unexpectedly. And again, they're very, very light. So they skip across the surface and allow the cats to kind of like really kind of swat with them and play with them quite quickly. The only thing just to be aware of, if you do get these, go for the really bright colored ones. Cause again, you'll find them in all sorts of places and you don't want to have to keep buying them as you start losing them under sofas and stuff. So yeah, really go for like the bright yellow colors. For this toy, our cat Oreo, he's a Maine Coon and he loves playing fetch. And it's a perfect size for him to kind of go and grab it, pick it up. It's not too hard on his teeth, it's not too heavy and he loves to play fetch. It's pretty easy to throw. So that's a great toy if they've got a bit of that dog mentality that you want to teach them. So the next one on our list, the third one, is actually not a cat toy at all, it's a, it's a dog toy. But it, we found it to be a perfect kind of like feeding toy to really kind of bring up those hunting instincts for our cats. We managed to get this one on Pets at Home, not that expensive, we managed to actually pick this up for 14 pounds. Pop the toys in these little tubes at the top and you'll be able to see some B-roll in a second. And the cats have to go over and they have to kind of like knock them around and then the treats pop out. Again, the key tip for this is try to use different biscuits from the normal biscuits. So that way, cats don't kind of realize or try to think that actually it's part of their, their main food but actually they can kind of see it as a bit of a treat, even if they are a bit more of like a, a normal a healthy biscuit. You're introducing some new pets to the family. This is a great way to kind of like break down some barriers and get them working together. You'll be amazed at how easily food seems to kind of remove some of that swatting and, and kind of bring everyone a little bit closer. This may require a little bit of patience to initially get them trained, but once you've helped them through the process and shown them how to do it, this is a perfect toy. Pop in a load of biscuits in there, make over lunch if they haven't eaten their breakfast and keep them busy and can keep them active and can get physically thinking um, and trying to solve puzzles. Hopefully you're still with us. Before we go into the last two options, I just want to quickly say both from my wife and I, thank you so much for spending the time to watch our video. Appreciate it's our first one. If you do like the content, please click on the like button. Click subscribe if you want to see more of this. The fourth toy on our list is the fishing rod. Again, this toy really mimics a bird and, and kind of brings up those natural hunt instincts from your cat. Again, this will require a bit of like time and effort on it from yourself, but my personal favorite way of getting the boys to play with this toy is standing in the middle of the living room and kind of like spinning around. Maybe not one if you're trying to protect your sofas, but it's a great way to get those lazy cats um, moving. One thing to be careful of is some of the attachments do come with feathers. Don't leave it unattended, guys. Please make sure that it, once you're done with this toy, make sure that you don't leave them chewing it. Make sure you put it away. On Amazon, it's seven pounds. And some of them come with an option of a little pulley. So it's just like a fishing rod. You can kind of lock it in place. You can wind it up, you can lengthen it, you can shorten it. Offers a great opportunity if you're trying to bait them a little bit more or you needed a little bit of distance to kind of like really 
really draw them in. And one of the last tips on this one as well is also be sure with cats, they never really know when to stop. So always have a little break after a couple of minutes just to make sure you can keep an eye on their breathing, especially if they're an indoor cat and not used to a lot of exercise. Always good just to make sure we're not overexerting our pets. Right, okay, on to the last option. So the last one is a flying propeller toy. Now this one is a bit of a difficult recommendation. Our cats love it and it's relatively cheap. So we managed to pick this up for as little as eight pounds on Amazon. So you can get uh, eight discs uh, for eight pounds. The only problem we, we found with this one is they are very delicate and they have broken. So for us, in the last eight months, we've had seven of the eight discs break. We can still use them in some degree, but they can break pretty easily. However, for, for the boys, for our Mancoons, we've managed to find this actually one of the toys that keeps them the most engaged. You pop the disc on top, twist it, and then you fire it, zooms through the air and hobs in the air, and it really gets our cats kind of chasing it. You can hear it in different parts of the house and they come running as soon as they either see it or hear it. This is a great toy just to really kind of get them interested and to get, get them bringing things back to you um, um, and which kind of gives you a little bit of break so you, you don't have to go running across the house each time. Uh, but again, solid recommendation, but do be aware that it does break easy. So that's something to consider. So guys, that was our top five toys. So now good opportunity to hand this over to you. We'd love to hear what your top toys are in the comments. And again, thank you so much. If you did get this far, thank you for watching the video. Please give it a like, subscribe if you like this content. Thank you and we'll see you in the next one.